Hi everyone, welcome to the APM tutorial learning session 10. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be looking into how you can run multiple test scripts in multiple devices simultaneously utilizing the test and suite classes. Okay, so let's have a look into it. And you also be saving the APM server log after the execution. So, so first, let me take you to my clips. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to use two different uh, test scripts. Uh, for this, I've created two different test classes here. Like one is brightness, con brightness control. Uh, this test script uh, will control, I mean, increase my brightness 100% and will print the current brightness. This is a native application that I'm going to run on my real devices. And uh, this one is the Facebook forward user and password. This one is the mobile web applications that I'm going to automate, uh, that I'm going to run in my emulator. Okay. So, in that uh, in this script, what I'm actually doing, I'm navigating the Facebook page. Let me show you. I'm navigating the Facebook page, and then now we're clicking on the forward password link. Uh, first, let me open my. Let me open it from. Okay, so this is the page I will be getting in my emulator device. If you access Facebook in the mobile device, you will get a page like this. Okay, now in this script, I am clicking on the forward password. So I am going to click on the forward password. I should get this page, and when I am click on the search button without providing anything, I should be expecting some notification message like fill in the fill in at least one field to search for your account. Okay, now I will be providing some invalid phone number and click on the search button. So I should be expecting the second notification message that your search did not return a result. Please try again with some other information. So that's all that to notification I'll be validating in my uh, test script and I'll be doing that uh, in my emulator device. Okay. So put it like three. So it's a very simple script uh, that I've used, only the test classes is uh, there. And all the elements I have taken inside the try and catch block. So, if during the execution is not able to find any element, it will print the no such element exceptions. Okay. And the most important thing that I have used it is extending the APM environment classes. So, let me take you to the APM environment classes. So, this is my uh, APM environment classes that are taken inside the APM environment package. So, inside the test environment classes, there is two method actually device setup and peer term. Tear down is uh, basically we are destroying the test environment when they were not equal to now, so we are quitting the driver. Uh, this is the main important part before plus setup. So I have here taken a five parameter the device, app package, app activity, version, and the PF server. Okay, this five parameter that five parameter will be passing as a string, string value inside the device setup. Okay, so in the capability sections, I am passing the device name as from the string value and the UDI, UDI is also the device name that will get from the command command prompt if you give command as a adb devices you will get the ready also new command time are given as 120 and app package app activity whichever the app i'm going to use in my uh, test so i have to give this uh, test app package and test app activity platform is android that both the version i mean android else you have to provide you have passed the value through the same way from the parameter and the string string, uh, string value and the version I'm using, so two, two different version I'll be using, so I've given two different values. Okay, same for brightness control. I'm extending the IPM environment classes, and this is my test and um, test class only, nothing else. Okay, so now let me take you to my uh, test suit classes. The test suit class created uh, here the parallel device XML. This is my test suit classes. Okay, my test ng test suit class that parallel device dot XML class in the test suit class. Uh, the test suit name I was given as a cross platform suit and I'm running the running the test as parallelly. Okay. So inside the test suit you can see there is two tests. One is real device test that I'll be carried out for my Android real devices and there is another test that I'll be proceeding with my Nexus emulator. Okay. So inside that uh, both the two tests I passed four five parameters that parameter I mentioned in the uh, APM environment setup classes. Uh, let me open it. 
my juice is getting hanged. Okay. So in the before class, I first five parameter: device, app package, app activity, versions, and APM server. Uh, mention, uh, uh, have a look into that. Uh, I also mentioned the device in two two places for device name and the uh, device UD ID. Okay. So for both the devices, the device name and UD ID is also same. You can get the UD ID from the command prompt itself. Uh, if you search. Like, ADB devices. So currently two devices are listed uh, along with their device name and the EDU ID is getting discussed. The EDU ID is 539E, 3E5, and the emulator hyphen 5554. Uh, and the app package, app activity, and the platform name, browser name, person I'm passing in my parallel device. Okay. So for the real device, the test class that I'm going to use, uh, APM test uh, and brightness control. This is the test class under the APM test package. And for emulator test, I'm going to automate one mobile web applications in the same package. Okay. So this is my test class. And one more difference uh, is that uh, for the two device, if you are guys, if you guys using multiple devices, so you have to use multiple instances of the APM server port. So for real devices, I'm using the server port as a 4723 and for uh, emulator service, emulator test, automation test, I'm using server port as a 4733. Uh, though all the IP server I'm using for as a local host, but the port is, I'm using as a different, okay. Okay, so let me have a look on the device that I've uh, opened. This is the two device that I've opened. This is my Android real devices. And this is my emulator, Nexus emulator. So emulator is pretty much slower than the real one. Okay. And to run these two devices, we need the two APM instances, server instances that we can create via the command line. If you are using a node.js, we can create the two server instances via the command line. And if you are using the APM GUI versions, the EXC file, then you can create the two server instances from the GUI uh, application itself. Okay. So let me show you the two server configuration. Well, I've maximized my APM. Uh, server instances so this is my first server instances where server address is localhost and i'm running it on server port 4723 and the second one i'm running on 4733 okay so the two port using for two different devices and the log file path has been given so in this particular path log file will be generated what about the server response debug everything will be generated in the log folder okay. and i'm also checking these three options local timestamp and time zone that will be printed in the log file and I'm checking this also allow session override. So sometimes it may happen that you are getting some session not created exceptions, uh, session not found, etc. So if you want to override the existing sessions, then you have to check it after session not override. Okay. Uh, let's call below. In the ended portion, I've given uh, bootstrap port as a 200, so then port I'm using 8080. For the others, I'm using bootstrap port as a 100. Okay, and so then the port is 080. So now, first, let me start my server. Before you see, that is my two Android devices. That is my real device. That is what you find. And this is my Nexus emulator. It is pretty much low. Uh, obviously, as emulator, it should be used more than the real one. Okay. And this is my real devices. Okay. So, let me start my server first. Okay, so first server has been started in the port 4733 and this server will start it in the port of 4723. Now let me take you to my clips and see if it's working. Yeah. Now let me run my uh, test suit from my clips. Now we see the result. Now let me take you to my server this to is open okay so i have started the executions it will take some time and we'll see the result i 
yeah it will take some time to respond okay so server has started execution has started let's see the result now okay so my real devices it's opening the select brightness app uh, then it's uh, dragging it of the switch bar up to 100 percent and android emulator device will be a little bit slower than the real one so it will take some time to load the test into the emulator so my android emulator has been started here I'll be automating one mobile applications that is Facebook applications. <coughs> so opening the Facebook account, then you will click on the forgotten password. Valid value and click on the search, it's giving us the routing value. Now I will provide some uh, invalid phone number as the 2 3 I have given as a hard code. So click on the search button, it will provide the second notification. That we have to check in that script. Now it's closing the browser instances. Okay, so let me take you to my case. Let's see the result. Okay, so this is my uh, console in the result of the test suit, test and test suit. We can see that the initial percentage was 2%, then it was asserting the contents level, and then for Android devices, it uh, dragged the sync button to the 100% to select the height brightness. And for the same in the emulator, it is navigating to the mobile applications, it's checking uh, the, all the things are getting displayed or not. Then it's providing some blank value to checking the first notifications is getting this or not. And then it's passing the invalid phone number to check the second notification. And my suite results looks like this. Cross platform suite, real device test, the brightness control test uh, classes that are executed. And in the emulator test I've executed the PM test, PM Facebook P2 IP Pro. Okay. So so this way we can uh, run multiple devices uh, in APM. We have to mention the different different devices and if you are using different different devices, make sure you have to use the different port itself. And so for that, you need to create different, you need to have different instances of APM server. I have used two devices, so that's why I have taken two APM server, okay. And so whatever the log has been generated, that I've given the path uh, at the time of creation of the server. That lock has been generated. Let me first stop the server and close the lock. Okay, the lock file path are given, and so I should be expecting this uh, lock should be generated in that particular path. That path is none other than my Eclipse path that I mentioned. Eclipse server lock that will replace this first. Take some time. Even doing with the Christmas project, it's uh, a little bit slower. Let me close this one to our two instances. My clip's not responding. It's loading, guys. I mean, uh, let's wait for a while and we'll see. The log result. Okay. Okay. So 
refresh and then opening the APM server log. So 473 was the defined log that I used earlier and 4723 and 4733. Yeah, the two log has been generated. Let me close my Android devices with any more machines. And this one also. Okay. Four seven three three. Okay, so this is my server log for four seven two three and four seven three three six. So four seven two three, you can see that uh, I'm running my real devices and, and all the details informations and which uh, applications we are going to automate everything will get listed here okay so if you want to use that log uh, if you want to get that log you can get it from the uh, command from the node.js we have some separate command uh, log cat command and if you want to get that log from the gui then we have an option to set that uh, log file path while setting up the apm server for the same that i used uh, in case of my emulator and uh, that log has been generated successfully you can see the entire log here and whichever the operation information for prompt uh, you can see if you want to search something like uh, okay we see that i mean when when it is uh, going to be getting the facebook sessions and then it is uh, click on the forward password button for each and every flow is to be request response to all the things have been in the log so we can also this log is helpful for debugging the applications okay. so guys uh, we have seen how to execute uh, different uh, APM tests and different devices utilizing the uh, different instances of APM server and so that's all for today and if you have any questions uh, please let me know or comment below in this video uh, I will be happy to help you guys on that Thank you for watching.